because the devil is trying to steal our boldness. He's trying to steal our faith. He's trying to get us in a place of intimidation. Intimidation is one of the weapons of the enemy to try to strip a generation of their giant, of their giant slaying authority. And one of the things we got to recognize is that the devil always tries to strip us of our authority by mocking and by saying negative words. In fact, it tells us that, um, you know, uh, that, that David was mocked by his own brother Eliab. And, you know, uh, giant slayers are not intimidated by man. They're not intimidated. First Samuel 17, 28, it says, Now Eliab, his older brother, heard when he spoke to the men. And Eliab's anger was aroused against David. And he said, Why did you come down here? And with whom have you left those few sheep in the wilderness? I know your pride and uh, your insolence and of your heart. Uh, for you have come down to see the battle. So here's David. He shows up and he's looking at this Philistine across the way that's mocking the armies of God. He's mocking the praise. And all of a sudden he rises up and his brother gets upset and goes, who are you? Who do you think you are? Where are those few sheep that, that, you know, you were supposed to be taking care of? You notice he immediately knocks him down. Listen, I want to just say this to you. There's going to be people for the rest of your life that are going to tell you you can't do it. They're going to tell you you're not good enough. They're going to tell you that you're crazy. They're going to tell you that your dream from God is a pipe dream and it'll never happen. It's not real. It's not reality. It's too big. Listen, if your dream ain't too big for you to pull it off in your own strength, then it isn't of God. And I say that because I want you to understand something. If what God has called you to do is not something that, that stretches you to the max and causes you to actually have to have faith, then it's not a real God dream. It's not a real God vision. It's not a real thing from heaven. Because what God wants to do in this season and all the time is he wants to do the impossible because the impossible is what gives him glory. Come on, somebody. See, I'm 